There's a man who comes before Allah on Judgment Day and his bad deeds are weighed and they're massive. And he's asked, do you deny any of them? Do you have any excuses? And he says, nope. Ya Rab, are any of these inaccurate? Did the writers who write your deeds down, did they write in correctly? No, Ya Rab, I swear, it's accurate, it's all good. You have one good deed. Bring the good deed. And it's a slip of paper which has the kalima on it. That's all it is. And they put the slip of paper on the other side and it outweighs everything else. It outweighs everything else. In this particular hadith, the Prophet ﷺ tells us, there are two words, light on the tongue, but very heavy on the scales. They're really beloved to Allah. Habibatani ila Rahman. The Rahman, the one who shows love and care and mercy, really truly loves them. What are those two words? Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, Subhanallah al azim But let me tell you, it is not the tongue that weighs heavy on Judgment Day. It's the heart that does. These words and the words of Allah, when they're just said from the tongue, mean nothing. But when the tongue is connected to the heart, it means something. You know, subhanallah wa bihamdihi essentially is saying how perfect Allah is and how no matter what circumstance, I thank Him and I appreciate Him and I praise Him. Allah is perfect, I thank Him and I praise Him. Basically. Now, you and I go through some tough situations in life. And when things get tough, things are not perfect, then we tend sometimes tend to blame Allah. Why is Allah doing this to me? Why did I have to go through this? Why did I have to be put through this pain? This person is much worse than I am and they get away with everything. And I look at me, why does Allah keep torturing me? Over and over and over again. This doesn't seem fair. When you're questioning Allah's fairness, you're considering Allah less than perfect. You're denying subhanAllah. When you question like that, your mind, your heart is losing sight of the fact that Allah is beyond criticism. That he, everything He does is perfect. So saying subhanAllah is something else. Feeling subhanAllah is very heavy in the scales. Feeling it under all circumstances is a different matter altogether. وَبِحَمْدِهِ And no matter what I'm going through, whatever you're going through, that is reason for me to complain and cry and criticize and stress and have anxiety. Despite all of that, the only thing that comes from my heart for Allah is praise and thanks. I am positive towards Allah no matter what negative surrounds me. If you can pull that off, man that is heavy in the scale. And then coupled with it, subhanallah al-azim, how perfect Allah the Great, meaning never do you ever think or feel or say anything that takes away from the greatness of Allah. You don't complain about Allah or talk about Allah in, in, in a way that's not befitting. You know, people have different kinds of relationships with God. My Christian friends will say, Yeah, I'm kind of mad at God nowadays. We we're, were good friends before, but it's kind of, you yeah, know, He hasn't been listening lately. And then there are other faith traditions in which God is a mighty, scary, high, sacred figure. And you don't speak about Allah, except if you're afraid. Islam is a combination of both of those things. We are friends before Allah. We are close to Allah. We have a love for Allah. And we're also respectful of Allah at the very same time. You don't talk about Allah or talk to Allah like you're talking about one of your buddies. Ah, Allah, you know. That's not, it doesn't work that way. No, no, no. We're talking about Allah. That's, you don't get to do that. Even though we have a loving relationship with Him, and He understands, and He listens, and He loves. But we don't become casual like that with Allah Azza wa And on the other hand, we're not so scared of Allah that we're never friends with Him. That we, never, we can never take our problems to Him. And never beg and plead with Him. But we have to remain a constant, constant, Allah is not angry with us. Allah does not hate us. Allah is not punishing us. This world is not for you to be punished. Whatever you and I are going through is never, ever, ever going to be a punishment. Throughout it all, you and I will maintain Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, Subhanallah al-Azim, and our scales will be heavy. Other people will think your deeds are worthless, you're not a good Muslim, you don't even have a beard, you don't even wear a hijab, you don't even do this, you don't even do that. They'll list all the things you don't do. They don't know what you do, that is with Allah. They don't know how hard it was for some of you to give up alcohol. Allah knows that. They don't know that. All they see is this person used to drink. That's all they see. They don't see the sacrifice you made, the pain you went through, the difficulty you carried to get away from that sin. That is between Allah and you. Allah knows that and it will weigh heavy on the Day of Judgment.